What's up, happy campers? Mile High Campers coming back at you again with another video. Today is going to be video number two in our three video mini series on how to winterize a boat. Today we are going to be removing the drain plugs and pulling a few hoses to drain all of the water out of this 2006 Volvo Penta 5.7 GI motor. We also will be going over some different options that you can do when it comes to using marine antifreeze. First, let's get started by looking at the port side of the engine. There are two drain plugs located on this side of the engine. One is located in the center just below the exhaust manifold, and the second is located at the back of the exhaust manifold. These drain plugs simply unscrew to remove. However, if your engine is anything like mine, it is possible that the plug in the center below the manifold will actually be the knock sensor. So if you run into this where the knock sensor is in the place of a drain plug, you need to remove the knock sensor in order for all of the water to drain from the engine. Next, let's take a look at the starboard side of the engine. There are two drain plugs located on this side of the engine. One is located in the center, just below the exhaust manifold, and the second is located at the back of the exhaust manifold. Like the opposite side, the plugs simply unscrew to remove. On my engine, both plugs were the same on this side of the engine. However, that is not to say that some engines may have the knock sensor for the second drain plug, so watch out for that. The key thing to remember is that there are four drain plug points on this engine and all four of those plugs, whether it be plugs or knock sensors, need to be removed in order for all of the water to drain. Next, we're gonna need to pull four hoses. Looking at the front of the motor, the first two hoses we need to pull are located here on the water pump. The third hose is located here on the block and the fourth hose, much smaller, is located right here. Okay, now that we've covered what we're gonna need to do, let's get to work, remove these drain plugs and hoses. All right, we're at the top of the motor here. We've got our main drain here, which I'm going to pull that hose at the bottom. This one is hard to access at the bottom, so I'm gonna pull it at the top, but then I'm gonna swing it around and let it drain down and out here, so. But we'll go ahead and just put it down the bottom and we do have a little bit of water leaking out of it. Go ahead and let it drain. Okay, at this point, the water has been drained from the engine. This is usually the point where I stop and consider the motor winterized. This is also the point where my local boat shop stops as well. However, there are a lot of people out there that reattach the hoses, put the drain plugs back, and then fill the engine with marine antifreeze. Obviously, you need to do your own research and do what you are comfortable with for your situation. I'm just sharing my opinion and what has worked for me in the past. If you do want to fill your engine with marine antifreeze, here's a way that you can do it. I will put a link in the description below to where you can get this boat winterizing kit, so be sure to check that out. First, reattach all of your hoses and reinstall all of your drain plugs. Next, you will fill the jug with marine grade antifreeze. In this case, we filled it with five gallons of marine antifreeze for my brother's boat, which also has a Volvo Pinto V8 engine. Next, connect one end of the hose to the jug. 
Then connect the other end of the hose to your motor flusher, aka boat muffs. Place the boat muffs in the correct place on your outdrive. Turn the jug upside down and open the valve so that the antifreeze fills the hose all the way to the muffs. Then start your engine and let it idle until you see the antifreeze coming back out of the outdrive. Once the antifreeze starts coming out of the outdrive, you know that your engine is now full of the marine antifreeze. And you can shut your engine off and remove the muffs. Your engine should now be winterized, but wait, there's more. Some people like to take it one step further and drain the antifreeze from the engine. The thought behind this is to leave as little liquid inside the engine as possible, and if there is anything in the engine, it's just the antifreeze, and so no harm will come to the engine. Again, do your own research and do what you are comfortable with. These are just three ways that I have heard about. Anyway, I hope this video helped you out. If it did, be sure to hit that like button. Please also consider subscribing to the Mile High Campers channel and be sure to check us out on Instagram. Well, that's it for this video, guys. We'll be sure to catch you in the next one. Peace!